Here we are going to talk about question number 16 which says what are SNPs? Where are they located in human cell? And state any two ways in the discovery of SNP that can be of importance to humans. Guys, this question is marks ka hai and has come from the chapter Molecular Basis of Inheritance. There are parts mein question divided in three parts. If you write this definition and elaborate this term, you will get one good mark. Location bata dete hai, one good mark and 0 0.5, 0 0.5 for two ways that these discovery of SNPs can be fruitful or important to human. Ye batayenge, to one good mark. In total, get three marks. Let's see how do we write this question. First of all, pehla answer, what is SNP? What is the full form? Single nucleotide polymorphism. That is the term. So, you can write so much from it, you will get one marks here. Then, the location. There are around 1.4 million locations that SNPs are located in humans. One mark for this one. And how does it help us? Guys, SNP ka matlab hai, aisi locations jahan pe DNA sequence is similar to other regions just there is a change of one nucleotide. So, if one nucleotide ki change hone ki wajah se, porous DNA segment ka matlab change ho ja sakta hai. Now, if we can trace those SNPs, those area, jahan sirf ek nucleotide ki change ki wajah se, the entire gene sequence or that DNA segment changes, we can use it for two good, we can use it for two good things. Number one, SNPs promises to revolutionize the processes of finding chromosomal locations, especially those chromosomal locations which are disease associated, disease associated sequence and it will also help in tracing human history. So, in the points ke liye 0.5 marks for this point and 0.5 marks for tracing the human history, the later point and in totality one mark here. Or pura ka pura sahi likhne se aapko mil jayenge 3 out of 3 mark. So that is question number 16. Now let us take up our next question. Now here we have question number 17 which is for 3 marks. What is adaptive radiation? Explain with the help of suitable example. Now the first part of the question is simply asking you to write the definition of adaptive radiation and which is the process of evolution of different species in a given geographical area starting from a point that is starting from a ancestral species and literally radiating to other areas of geography that is habitat where the organism lives and that's what is adaptive radiation. So it's a very rapid method of speciation. Writing the definition correctly will fetch you one mark. Now the second part of the question is the example in favor of adaptive radiation and the best example you can cite here is Darwin's finches. So here you can see the finches and these are so called because it was the observation by Darwin when he visited Galapagos Islands and there he found so many different types of small birds and he found out that these birds must have evolved from a common ancestor and that original finch was a seed eating ground finch. And from that finch on this island, there have been number of new species of finches have developed out of which some of them are insectivorous, there are vegetarian tree finches, even cactus finches. And in this case, we see that when the resources are limited and vacant habitats are available, then from our original ancestral form, new species can arise. So writing it correctly will fetch you the remaining two marks. So that is how three marks are justified. From here, let's move on to our next question, question number 18. Now this question is having two parts, A and B, and we'll take each one of them one by one. So part A is explain the mode of action of copper releasing IUDs as a good contraceptive. How is hormone releasing IUD different from it? Now in this, if we have to write the answer, first thing, first part of the question is action of copper releasing IUDs. Now as you know, copper releasing IUDs, the one of the best examples you have, that is copper T, they have ionized copper, which is slowly released from it. 
these iodes they increase the phagocytic activity within the uterus and these copper ions suppress sperm motility and thus the ability of the sperm to fertilize the egg or the ovum is decreased now the second part of this question is how is hormone releasing iod different from it now hormone releasing iods like for example lng20 now this one releases a synthetic form of progesterone like hormone that is levonorgestrel and it makes the uterus unsuitable for implantation and also the cervix becomes hostile for sperms so this way it is having additional activity among the different iods so copper releasing iods are basically meant to suppress sperm motility while hormone releasing iods have enhanced effect where they are making the cervix hostile for sperms and the uterus is also made unsuitable for implantation now this part of the question will be for two marks so out of the total three marks here there would be two marks allotted for a the b part of the question that is why is saheli preferred contraceptive by women any two reasons now in this case the answer would be saheli this is as you know one of the oral contraceptive which is available for females and it is non steroidal so as soon as we say non steroidal one very important function is with it that is side effects are minimized so it has very few side effects and a high contraceptive value now this part of the question would be for one mark and this will fetch you this so this way you can see the entire question which is for three marks it has a two mark part and a one mark part from this we can move on to our next question that is 19th